Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Volatility Report. As I, Andrew Giovinazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com, welcoming you to our, um, well, to our vol report. Uh, Mark is out for the week, so you have me in the chat room. A um, couple of things. Mark did a, a trade idea of the week, looking for AAP to go to 100 Pinsky, and it is on his way as we speak. So anyway, check out our blogs on Friday. Mark does a trade idea of the week on Friday. Uh, still not looking great for this group, um, I would say. Also, uh, on July the 13th, we'll be doing a free webinar on uh, buying gamma, and then on July 22nd, on a Saturday class, we're going to be doing, we're going to be uh, teaching about gamma and trying to finance that gamma in our low vol market, also using the vol products a little bit. I would say the class will be semi-advanced in nature, but uh, it's something we do option insider radio. We kind of giggle about it, you know, trying to get your juice for free. So we will teach basically some of those techniques for trying to get one part of the trade to pay for the long gamma part of the trade. So that will be Friday, July 22nd uh, for our Saturday class for all option pit live members and above. That is free. All right, um, and let's get to the market. So what do we have here today? So just a little bit on uh, uh, a little bit on a VIX. Um, we have, uh, again, 11.36. We traded 12 and change last week. Let's get to that three month. We got it just, you know, we just can't really get, it can't get out of its own way, to be honest. Um, and... With what we have right now, it's not going to surprise me to see maybe the 10 and a half handle this week, although we could not get any kind of a rally. Um, so we got a little rally, let's say in Amazon, maybe it's trying to just get to that thousand dollar level again. Um, but overall, just vol, I think will be a little bit, uh, it will be a little under pressure. Uh, you're seeing all the futures are starting to drift a little lower. Our July contract is a dollar away into next week. We'll look in our chat room today. One of our favorite trades is when you have a little bit of contango in that July, in that one week contract. Uh, and we are about there. Um, the August contract trading at almost 13 bucks. Again, almost about $2 over. It's about $1.70, $1.65, fairish. So the vol market, again, fairish. Um, we have a slightly higher VIX as well. So. Those are trades we're going to look at in our chat room uh, using the vol products and trying to get a little bit of accelerated uh, decay into the end of the week. Um, the second thing we're looking at here is uh, all of the space here, XBI, uh, IBB. There, it seems like it's pulling back a little bit now that um, there's a, you know, Congress is wavering on their bill and all the rest of it. Uh, so it look, might be a good chance to get in back in here if it resumes its climb, which uh, we think it will. Uh, we already covered uh, weakness in uh, all these auto part makers. Still, you know, they, uh, Orly was up this morning. They, none of these can keep a bid. Uh, we'll look at a couple of plays for this, but this is, this is I believe it's like five straight days. Just ugly, ugly, ugly. Um, so we put out kind of a, I put a blog on this last week, just, you know, just spreads looking for weakness. Um, so the, the market has been really unforgiving about uh, this type of thing. Uh, the next thing we're going to check about in our chat room today is Tesla. Um, I'm looking for Tesla around $300. Uh, we talked about a 300 pin for Friday. We didn't get it. Um, never really moved. But now uh, I think they, you know, they've got that 100-day um, – where Musk is promising to build that battery factory in Australia. I think that could be a vol event. Um, so we'll take a look at the pricing for that, although I believe it's coming right around the earnings cycle. I mean, earnings will be before, be before that, but it'll be interesting to see how they price that. Um, so that, I think that might be worth looking at. And uh, last but not least, uh, you know, with European propping up Europe, propping up their banks, um, it seems like you know just the the gloves are off for the banks. 
So we will look at long plays, maybe with a possible pair in XLF um, in the chat room today. Uh, so if you have any other questions, you're interested in mentoring, interested in anything, learning about options, how to trade options, how to trade delta neutral, how to manage positions, how not to be just a total slave to the direction of the underlying uh, option pit is a good place to park yourself and learn how to do that. All right. We do mentoring. We have several levels of classes uh, to help people figure all that out. And with that, you all have a good week. And again, if, if things continue to look the same, I would guess there's a little bit of a pop. Again, that's weekend effect. That's a very weak uptick in, for the weekend. Um, and we should see volatility kind of hang here. But again, uh, looking for the vol, the vol products to sign a slide into the end of the week. All right, everybody. Have a good day.